Hey friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with PlaySongNotes.com and I'm showing you today how to pick up your guitar and play House of the Rising Sun. I'm going to be modeling this lesson after the animals version of this song, but it's a really fun one to play. Um, you need about a handful of chords and there's lots of ways to play this song. You can go for that animal sound where you're doing that distinctive rake. Okay, or you can do a sort of simple string at a time picking or finger picking pattern. Okay, or you can do straight up strumming. Now I'm going to show you all three of these versions. It's a great, nice little spectrum there from super beginner to intermediate and beyond. So without anything else being said, let's get to that lesson. All right. So as always, head on over to playsongnotes.com if you want to grab the printout of this lesson. I have it right here, formatted by me by hand painstakingly. This is nice to have, you know, looking at a screen is great, watching a video is great, but printing it out just for the times when you're not in front of a computer or whatever is good to uh, just have it, you know, you don't have to worry about the batteries dying on this thing. So enough of that talk. Let's get to this song though. Okay, chord wise, what are you gonna need? Uh, let's look at these chords here, okay? So A minor is where you start. Okay. Um, a minor is the thinnest five strings. Open fifth string, second second on the third and fourth string, first fret on the B string. That's the second string, okay? So open second second, first open. All right, there's A minor. Next up is a C. Now, all you're doing, going from an A minor to a C, is moving your ring finger, okay? From the G string, second fret, to the A string, third fret, okay? Third, second, open, first, open is a C, okay? So A minor to C. You have to do this a lot in the song, so get used to this switch, okay? Next up is a D chord. That's the thinnest four strings only, all right? So you're doing open, second fret, third fret, second fret, okay? Now the next chord is an F chord. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you some easy ways to play this if you've been burned by F before, okay? Typically F is a full six string, bar chord, which is one of the hardest uh, chords you run into when you start playing guitar, right? It's a really big milestone. For this song, though, there's a few simpler ways to do it. One way is the uh, thinnest four strings only, so third, second, first, first. The hard part about this is using your index finger to push down with the sort of fleshy under part of the finger here, you know, right there. You're going to push down on the first fret of the thinnest two strings. This is tough to do and get a clean sound when you're first starting out, okay? But if you can, third, second, first, first. Now, an easy way to play this is third, second, first, open. Okay, so that that uh, that thinnest E string is open, if you can see there. Open meaning I'm not pushing it down. Third, second, first, open. Okay, so this is technically an F major seven but you can use it for this song if you want, okay? Especially if you can't do any of the other Fs. I don't want it to stop you here. So E is the final chord, open, second, first. Open, second, second, first, open, open. Okay, that's an E chord, all right? So now, all right, so now you know how to play the chords to this song. And uh, before I get into the strumming and to how to do some of the Stuff. I want to talk about the structure of the song, just really the order the chords are used throughout the song, okay? It's really helpful to know. So this song basically has five verses, but every verse uses the same chord progression. So you learn that progression once and you use it for every verse. You're good to go, right? And that progression looks like this. Um, you're, this is the main part of this is A minor to C to D to F, okay? This progression you use a lot, okay? Um, after you play it once, you're gonna go from A minor to C to E, all right? And then you do that main progression again, A minor to C to D to F. And then you do this ending progression, which is A minor to E to A minor to E, okay? So um, look at this sort of, uh, again, get that print out if you can, notice that this is the only progression you'll need and you just repeat it for every verse. So let's look at strumming first. Now, what do you need to know? 
One is six counts per measure here. And by measure, I mean that's how long you stay on each chord. So, and with 6 8 time, which is the time signature of this song, you want to really put your accent on the one and the four within the six counts, okay? So, A minor shape, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm just doing a down strum on the, on the uh, one and the four. If you wanted to do more down strums, you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm doing a down strum on each of the six counts, but the first count and the fourth count are what gets the accent, okay? Finally, you could do a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, that's one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one. Again, with that one too, the one and the four counts are getting your accent. So really, use the strumming pattern you like if you want to strum at all, and you can go through these chords. So basically, uh, looking at the, let's do the first verse with a sort of simple strumming pattern, okay? So let's do the down, 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 down. There is a C in D or F, the A minor, the C to E, stay on E, then to A minor, two, three, four, five, six, C, two, three, four, five, six, D, two, three, four, five, six, F, two, three, four, five, six, J, and the E, and A minor, back to E, okay? so. That's how you would approach strumming this song. Um, if you don't want to mess with the individual string picking, strumming is going to be good for you. So check that out, and I hope this helps. But now let's get to some of the finger picking stuff. And I say finger picking, I really mean you could do it with your fingers if you like. But I'm going to be using a pick here. And uh, I want to show you this sort of easy version, which captures a bit of the animal sound here. Now this sort of evokes the animal's version of the song, but it's not as hard to play as it. And the nice thing about this is if you look at these tabs here, what's a, a very consistent thing going on? You're going to do down strums on the first and the lowest three notes of each chord. So A minor, okay, fifth string, fourth string, third string. Those are your first three counts, all down strums. And then for the last three counts, you want to do up strums starting on the thinnest string. Okay, so together, this is A minor. Stay on A minor. Just repeat this. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Okay, let's go to C. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. And then to D. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Then to the F. The, the sort of mini bar F. Down, 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 up, up, up. If you did the sort of simple F. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Now, you're just going to repeat this for every chord in the song. I, the E here would be down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. But again, the nice thing about this is it's six pounds per measure. The first three counts get a down strum. And the last three counts get an up strum. And you're always starting on the bass note of each chord. And then you're always uh, for the first count. And then for the fourth count, you're starting on the highest string, the E string. And you go up, up, up of the thinnest three strings, okay? So this is a nice way to play this song. Um, it's a nice little arpeggio sound. Again, it kind of sounds like the animals, but it's not as tricky as their rake. Now, when I say rake, let's look at this raked version. So this is an attempt to make it sound like the animal's version. And this is tricky because you need a lot of finesse. And when I say a rake, I mean you're gonna start off by playing the A minor here. Thinnest, uh, thickest string, the bass string. And then next you're gonna do a single motion before you end with those thinnest three strings. Up, up, up. Okay, so. Um, when I say a single motion, I mean you kinda wanna
Now, instead of the single motion, you could sort of pluck each string. But this feels too rigid, right? I mean, you're, you're do, 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 you kind of really have to just commit and do the rake. But the hard part about the rake is getting that timing. You don't want the rake to be over too soon, and you don't, don't want it to drag out. You don't want to lose your timing, right? You want to stay in count with the, the rest of the song. So um, that's the rake version. I'll do one playthrough of uh, the progression here using my best attempt at that. And in case it helps you, you can check this out too. Okay, ready? Okay, the final tip about the rake, I would say, is when you do the um, raking motion, you don't want to play the thinnest string, the high E string. And the reason why is you want that those final three up up picks to be very. Um, you want you want them to sort of claim the sound of that high E string, right? So in the A minor, I'm really raking from the fifth string through the B string. Well, I hope that helped you. Um, this has been a really fun song to learn for me, and I hope it was a fun one for you as well. But thanks for watching this video. If this helped you, let me know in the comments what was helpful. Um, are there any other songs you want me to do lessons for? Let me know. I love to hear requests. And if this song really, really, if this lesson really, really helped you and uh, it came in handy for you, check out my website, playsongnotes.com. I have a tip jar if you want to throw a few bucks my way to help support me in this project that I do for making these lessons. It would be greatly appreciated for sure. But otherwise, this has been David Potts with Song Notes. Check out my website, playsongnotes.com. You can get the printout for this lesson. Again, it's handy to have around. Okay, you'll find this from my other lessons too. Look at that. All right. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great night and uh, keep on rocking. Bye-bye.